Welcome to the Give Miami Day nonprofit training webinar. My name is Alex and I'm the Give Miami Day project manager from Civicor, the software company behind the new and improved Give Miami Day platform. This webinar will highlight some of the new features and functionalities Give Miami Day will offer this year. We'll cover what to expect during the registration process, how to make the most of your Give Miami Day profile, review key Give Miami Day dates, and cover what to expect during Give Miami Day on November 21st. This year, Give Miami Day is hosted on a new software platform built by Civicor, the nation's premier giving event software solution. With over 10 years of experience, Civicor hosts over 40 giving events annually, including the two biggest in the nation, North Texas Giving Day and Colorado Gives Day. Civicor also hosts a variety of giving events with some of our biggest successes in Washington State, Sacramento, New Orleans, Omaha, St. Louis, and Arizona State. Suffice it to say, you're in really good hands. Registration for Give Miami Day is easier than ever, with the entire process contained to just one step. Every organization, be them new to Give Miami Day or returning, will need to complete a new application. Go to GiveMiamiDay.org, and in the top right-hand corner, hover over Login and click Nonprofit. You'll be routed to the Give Miami Day Nonprofit Login page, and bookmark this page, because you'll be managing your profile and accessing your donation information here, and see a button inviting you to register for the event. Click there to get started. Be sure to check out the link at the top of the application for the registration requirements to get a complete list of all the information you'll need to provide on this application. It's recommended that you gather all of this information before starting, as the application must be completed in one sitting. In addition to basic information about your organization, be prepared to upload the following documents or files. Your current Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services Certificate of Solicitation, a voided check connected to the bank account where your Give Miami Day donations will be distributed, your organization's logo, and at least two images and or links to YouTube or Vimeo videos that depict the nature of your organization's work. After you submit your application, you'll see a confirmation message on screen confirming you've successfully completed this first step. You'll also get an email notification confirming this as well. At this point, your application is pending review by the Miami Foundation's Give Miami Day team. Once approved, you'll be notified by email that your profile is live and published to GiveMiamiDay.org. This should prompt you to go check out your public-facing profile. Make sure the links to your social media pages are working. For example, to link to it properly, we need the full URL of your Instagram account and not just your Instagram handle. And that your content is accurate and typo-free. This completes your registration process and your organization is now ready to receive donations during Give Miami Day. It really is that easy. Now that your profile is published and your first user account created, let's explore additional functionality that's available to you. Each time you log into the system, you'll land on your dashboard, which allows quick access to update your Give Miami Day goal, the sum total of your matching funds and their respective sources, and the ability to quickly deactivate any champion pages that have been created for your organization. Check out the champion page how-to guide for a more detailed overview of this new and exciting feature. Click into My Organization to access additional areas of your nonprofit profile. From the main overview tab, you can click the Edit My Profile button to maintain your public-facing content. You'll also add users to your profile. New users can be added, and you can manage existing users by marking them inactive and set users to receive or not receive system-generated emails notifying you that you've received a donation on Give Miami Day. You can add as many users as you need, but keep in mind that every user has access to the entirety of your Give Miami Day profile. The Donation Levels tab allows you to tie a monetary value to a good or service that your organization provides, which will populate on your organization's donation form during Give Miami Day as a suggested donation amount. In this example, administratively, we've indicated that a $100 donation may cover the cost of a spay or neuter for an animal at our shelter. We've also said that a $250 donation may cover the costs of a work readiness course for an employment-focused organization. You can see how these donation levels will populate on your donation form during Give Miami Day here. 
Remember, funds you raise during Give Miami Day are unrestricted, so these donation levels serve simply to contextualize what a given amount of money could do for your organization. You are not bound to use these dollars for the purposes reflected on each donation level. The Multimedia tab allows you to add additional images and or links to YouTube or Vimeo videos that reflect the work of your organization. The registration process already captured two records here, but you are strongly encouraged to add more. Remember, humans are visual creatures, and as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. Adding visual content to your profile creates a powerful response from donors and can inspire a bigger gift. Take note of these key Give Miami Day dates so you're sure to get registered. All dates are through the date listed, meaning registration is open through October 21st and will be closed starting October 22nd. You'll be able to make changes to your public profile content through November 18th and further edits beyond your matching funds, Give Miami Day fundraising goal, and champion page management will be closed starting November 19th. Now let's spend a little time on what you can expect during Give Miami Day on November 21st. First, access to your main Give Miami Day profile is limited and you'll see only your process donations list. We'll restore access to the entirety of your profile at the conclusion of the event, but for those 24 hours, you'll see only donations that have been processed for your organization. The Give Miami Day platform sends a donation receipt to every donor once they've completed the checkout process, but you are strongly encouraged to personally thank your donors for their support too. You can continue to make adjustments to your matching fund sources and event goal as needed. These edits can take up to 10 minutes to reflect, reflect publicly, so have a little patience, but rest assured, if you blow through your fundraising goal or have a last minute matching fund gift, you'll be able to keep those areas accurate and up to date on your public profile. During Give Miami Day, your public profile will reflect your live, real-time progress as donations are processed for your organization. In this example, you'll see the goal progress wheel where the sum total of your process donations is visually represented as a circular progress bar compared with the fundraising goal your organization has set. Keep this up to date and use this information in your day of marketing and outreach efforts. If you're close to your goal, let your donor base know so they can push you over the edge. If you've smashed through your goal, increase it so you can keep your donors engaged. This example also shows the remaining balance of your matching funds. All matches are treated as dollar for dollar and will count down in real time for every dollar processed for your organization. Your sum total of donations reflects only your process gifts and is not inclusive of any matching funds you've unlocked. That concludes the Give Miami Day nonprofit training webinar. We hope this quick tutorial has been informative and helps you better prepare for all the excitement on Give Miami Day. From the entire Give Miami Day team, thank you for your time, and we wish you the best of luck on this year's event.